Are yeah. you ready? I was born ready. All right. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for it? Welcome back to Only Friends. Welcome back. back. It's the best month of the whole entire year. It's the best month of the whole entire year. First and yeah. foremost, I like to give a shout out to all the gays. Um, oh, happy pride to happy all pride. of you. And you know, I was thinking about it this weekend because tech, it's my birth month. Of course. And I'm not really a person who's like, it's my birthday month. Like, yeah. I wait for the day. Yeah. And I realized I'm such a good ally in doing that. You are such a good ally. You, know? you let them have their moment to and shine. I waited until the last day of That's the month. That's true. To be, one, be born. Like I knew that Do you think your mom was, was like, future. oh no, I might have her. Or, no, I can't. I got to give it to the gays. Well, pr- maybe, maybe Probably not. not because <laughs> they did ask my mom if she wanted me to be Ju- June 30th or July 1st. Because oh. I was 11.59. She's like, I'm going to ruin Pride Month. Which <laughs> also like Aaron kind born. of, uh, I'm like, okay, but I was born in June. You can't just pick the next date because it's only a minute off. Yeah. If she told me that and told me I was July 1st, I'd be like, that's stupid. Because it would hit midnight. Yeah. So it was like, I was a minute away from being July that's 1st. That's crazy. So I'm like, okay, but like technically <laughs> I was born on June 30th. Yeah. So they gave her the option. Yeah. That's weird. Which is weird. Maybe it was like, or maybe I came out like right as the clock struck 12. Honestly, maybe you're Cinderella. <laughs> Is that how Cinderella was born? <laughs> she came out when this clock struck I'm 12. Cinderella. But yeah, so like I was born an ally. I was like, I'll wait till the last day. Good. Yeah, well. They can have the whole month and I get the last day. Erin is literally the wokest friend I have. I'm Thank you for doing that. So woke. Thank you for doing that for everyone. I'm, yeah, you're welcome. I have a moral question. Ooh. <laughs> it, <laughs> the right person to ask. I don't know. Um, maybe a good discussion. Okay. I did not do this. But is it dine and dash if you sit down with a group of people, okay. order the food? I'm trying to decide if the food's there yet or not, but you leave without eating. Is that dine and dash or is it like, yeah? what if you leave before the food comes out? Like what if there's a family emergency? And th- they're still making the food. They're still making the food. However, you didn't get to enjoy said food. Yeah, but I- The I, work I, is being done though. I, I understand that. I think that the sentiment is like you are using- their resources still their rent <laughs> yeah their resources well their food that, that's true they're probably in the back cooking it yes you know? i understand the tech ne- the tech technicalities of sure. of the situation no oh. no i just was thinking about it and i was like is it dining and dashing <laughs> if you have food but haven't eaten it and you leave <laughs> yeah because you're still not paying yeah I think, like, if but you what were- do you owe because you didn't eat anything but you ordered it yeah like i've gone to a restaurant and sat down and then like a waiter didn't come over for 10 minutes. So we were like, let's just leave. Well, that's fine. Yes. I think that if you if you order the food and even if you didn't eat it, you're still dashing away from something that you placed in. <laughs> dashing order away. Yeah. What if you ordered just like sodas and then they like never came around again and you left? Then what? I, I would just feel too guilty. I think I would paying. leave some cash on the yes. table and be like here. Like, obviously I want to tip because- yeah you gotta just tip yeah like if we went got two sodas i would leave like 10 bucks on the table yeah that's fair assuming that soda is like two dollars because i would also feel bad like taking up a table for such a little amount of time without being like we're just getting drinks yeah that's true i just like (laughs) i don't like breaking the rules i know yeah she really doesn't (laughs) i just was thinking about it and i was like if i was like sitting there with a group of people and the food came out and as soon as the food came out there was like a family emergency like everyone had to leave like what do you do I feel like at at that point I would then like do the family emergency and then like call the restaurant and be like, I'm so sorry. This happened earlier. Here's my credit card information. We wire transfer you the money. Really sketchy. (laughs) I'm actually in another country now. I will wire you the money. Yeah. I would go back like after said emergency and be like, hey, this is what happened. Yeah. I'm so sorry. After they've put your picture up. What if it's also like a restaurant that you love? Yeah. And they're like, you're never welcome back. That'd be terrible. You got to, you got to clear your name. Yeah, you gotta yeah, you gotta clear your name in this town. Okay, wait. I have this um under the news segment, but I feel like since we're doing this weird stuff right now, I can just bring it up because I saw it this weekend. Okay. Um I don't really know the full context of it, but tra- uh Jason Kelsey basically like posted like, Oh, I don't wash my feet. Like washing your feet. Like I never think about washing my feet. Right. Oh, this is the whole new like legs. washing the legs. Yeah. Are you gonna ask me if I wash my feet? Yeah. I don't yeah. because my feet they're are perfect. touching. Yeah, they're first of all, they never smell. Perfect. And they never smell. Yeah. 
same except that one time on the plane and the guy told me to put my shoes back on <laughs> that was a terrible smell and i was traumatized not only because he told me that but because they smelled for the first time in my life i swear to god anyways it is really quite an alarming experience when like you just have perfect scented feet your whole life and then one day out of nowhere it's just like it was crazy i was like what, what the fuck are in these target flats that yeah. i'm wearing <laughs> like definitely not something wearable <laughs> like i used to play softball we would play tournaments i would play like four games in a day have my cleats on all day i'd get in the car wouldn't smell perfect girls yeah the perfect girls what was the question do you wash your feet oh no and also because i remember when i was young i think my grandma my mom's mom like fell in the shower because she was washing <gasps> her feet and i remember my mom being like that makes sense why would she be doing that like wash yeah. her feet then so slippery no. no it's like funny you gotta i i do not for one it, unless like i notice i'm like oh my god my feet are so dirty then like i'll rub yes. a little soap on it i'll but do like a bath I just thing. like i like kick my feet like a bird <laughs> <laughs> i don't really think about like, it i'm like slop 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 so you're you're like actively thinking about washing your feet not actively not like washing your feet but like making sure they're getting soap on them and stuff um i don't know if the soap gets all the way down there, okay but like but when you're water. doing okay hold on when you're doing the clicking and clacking with your feet yeah why are you doing that uh, just because i'm like one it's fun <laughs> to wash to make your feet clean to, like, that way play in a puddle okay okay um and she has an umbrella yeah like, i guess because i'm like okay i should probably like get something on my feet even oh. if it's just water Okay, party animals. I know living neighbors outside. It's 11 a.m. I'm at a party on a Monday. Um, yeah, I know. I don't think about that. I like, do wash I my legs, like, but my feet will get washed. I feel like I was never a leg washer like that until it all happened. And then I was like, oh, I never really no, I thought know. about that. I think it's because we're white. I think I would like <laughs> come up to like here. Well, but that's my the whole knee. thing. It like it goes down. Yeah. It's just like your feet, it will go down and yeah. it will clean. And I promise you, it'll be okay. I know. I feel like washing for me mostly is pits and crotch like guys people used to clean themselves with a fucking towel in yeah. water like we're doing just fine yeah we're we're yeah we've got our whey soaps <laughs> mm. we've got our loofies tj got an african um he's not on tiktok it's like this long thing and it just has like i forget what it's called like an african something sponge and Took. literally it's like you know when pe people it's so funny to me. My dad did this. Okay. Like when you take a towel and you dry yourself. Like <laughs> yeah, that. it's like a TV, like a yeah, sitcom. My dad would do that. But so it's like, um, like kind of like a towel. Okay. Um, but it has a bunch of holes in it. Okay. And it's supposed to like, I think, get off all your dead skin and whatnot. Oh, like a little like, exfoliator. So he just got one, but it's so funny. You're just like <laughs> Just like a towel with holes. Shower. I, basically, here, let me see if I can. I feel like it's called like an African. You gotta send me a big later. African <laughs> sponge. <laughs> towel oh yeah also i this love it like i love a shower cute. hack if anyone has any shower hacks let me know okay so they like look like this they look like literally the stuff that you put under your rugs oh to get them to yeah not yeah, yeah like the sticky part yes um let me see if i can find like someone using it but it's so cr he was talking to me about it. i was like i don't know what you're talking about and then that night i saw a tiktok of someone using <laughs> it and i was like you're lit you're listening oh my god funny I like that it listens. I'm like, thank you for feeding me the thing that I was ho hoping to see. <laughs> I was having this conversation the other day and fully like, agree. The same conversation? Yeah. No, yeah, it's great. It's like, oh, I'm- Oh yeah, it's like this. Yeah, it's it's so cartoon. Looks different. So it just exfoliates? I guess. It's like a good way to wash yourself. Okay. But I like walked into the bathroom, it was just like hanging in there. Like <laughs> it looks like a little hammock. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> Paris is just sleeping in it. Um. That's okay. very funny. Well, I also um, <clears throat> saw this on Instagram the other day. And since June will be the start of summer, I thought we could do um, a little fun thing that I saw. Ooh, okay. Called this or that Ooh. summer edition. Oh my God, yay. <laughs> I love little fun pop quizzes. Me too. Okay. It's basically just like a, what do we prefer? Okay. Okay, first, strawberries or watermelon? Ooh, that's a tough one, but I have to say watermelon. Me too. I'm a watermelon girl. They're I just like, I wonder how similar our answers will be when I was doing Yeah, that. I love also watermelon <laughs> with salt is my perfect watermelon. Oh. <laughs> Not Aaron's apparently. <laughs> I love watermelon and I especially love watching dogs eating watermelon. Yeah. It's so cute. It's so crunchy. I feel like over the years I've really become less interested in strawberries for some reason and i don't know why it's <laughs> so funny i know i love them but i never eat them yeah i feel like i always buy them because i'm like those look good and then i'm like what? I don't. and then they're the ones them. that like go bad before you even open yeah yeah i will say favorite summer fruit a cherry 
I'm like, oh, love a cherry. Interesting. I was not going to, I didn't expect you to say a cherry. Mm. I think mm, watermelon mm, for mm. sure. Yeah. Yeah. The thing about watermelon that sucks though is cutting it. It is. I know. Too difficult. I don't do it. Nolan does it. But we got one from Trader Joe's the other day and it was like bad. I don't think like it's, like, it's like white. No, it wasn't white. It was just kind of like sour. Oh, it was weird. Yeah. Oh, yuck. Okay. Beach or pool? Mm, pool. Okay. Here's my thing. <laughs> I like thinking about a pool. I'm like, okay, I feel like this is like a kind of gross. However, the schlep of a beach is annoying. But in a perfect world, if I was just like at a house on a beach, I would mm. prefer that than like having a pool in my backyard. Okay. Because I just like, oh, the breeze, the sound of the waves, it's all the elements. Okay. I do love the ambiance of the beach. Yeah. I just would rather swim in a pool than a swim at, Me too. I in like the ocean. don't swim in the ocean. Yeah. Unless I'm in like Italy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think pool. I'm too the afraid ocean of scares everything me. in the ocean. I, it's horrifying. It's a whole nother universe down yeah. there. Okay. <laughs> Nolan just singing upstairs. <laughs> Sundress or shorts? I, this is maybe going to catch you off guard, but I feel like sundress Ooh. because I don't really wear shorts. I feel like I've never seen you in a sundress. I'll be running in, in <laughs> mine with my dress unbuttoned this you summer. <laughs> <laughs> I am full sundress. I mean, I'd rather wear a dress in general than shorts. I, I just like don't, I don't think shorts are comfortable. Shorts. Me too. And it's like, even when it's the my hottest vagina. day, uh, everything. I and you walk into a store and you're freezing. Yeah. So like I wear jeans or pants constantly throughout win uh, summer yes. here because it doesn't really, you're, it's only when you're outside, obviously. So the second you're in someone's house or a store, the shorts don't matter at this point. The only shorts Carly wears are limited to Sophie shorts. Yeah. And I will only wear those. <laughs> yeah. And I will buy some new ones when I, they re, re make them. I saw a funny TikTok um, probably a couple weeks ago now, but it was like a girl being like, how come every year when summer rolls around and you go to try on your shorts, they never fit? Yeah, it's true. Like your jeans will still fit. Like everything yeah. else in your closet will still fit. It's not like you gain weight, lost weight. Like everything, you have remained the same size, but the shorts did not fit. I kind of have a weird theory about this. Maybe it's because like style changes so frequently that like one summer... I bought high rise because that was a style yeah. and now I'm trying them on for this summer and I'm trying to make them low cause that's the style and they're not fitting right. Yeah. Vice versa. I don't like shorts. shorts suck. And I have like three pairs that I've had for years that I've never, I mean, I've worn them, but like hardly ever. And I'm like, do I get rid of them or will I ever no. wear these? I know I have like a, I probably have <laughs> more shorts than I need and I never wear them. And <laughs> yeah, I've if had you have ones. more than one, it's more than I need. Yeah. I've had so many in my closet for the same reason. Yeah. Because I'm like, uh. And like but skirts then I, I have. And I'm like, I'm not wearing skirts. I know. But I you love, never know. I love a sundress. I still have my freaking emo night prom dress. dress. Well, don't ever get rid of that. I don't want to. That's like an archival piece. I agree. Like maybe I'll wear it to the Met one day. I don't yeah, know. Like, we have a whole bin of just like archived emo night merch. Oh, okay. I keep mine too. Like yeah. I have that. I think the only other thing I have is like the robe that I got and the sleep mask. So like, I'm keeping those forever. S just a silk wardrobe. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Thanks, Emo Nice. Um, okay. This one is weird because it has nothing to do with summer, but okay. <laughs> white Christmas or green Christmas? Wait, what? Oh, like snow. Why is it on the list? I don't know. I mean, I'm from the Midwest. White Christmas. White. Yeah, this is not a summer white question. White Christmas. They're prepping us for winter. <laughs> like what? We got six months. Um, <laughs> maybe that's a reminder, like six months until it's Christmas time. It, Do you want a white Christmas? It's or? literally 2025. I'm stressed. <laughs> I know. Um, I'm a full white Christmas girly. And I used to like celebrate Christmas in Hawaii. And I remember the first year I went there, I was like, this is fucking weird. Yeah, it's, it is weird. I mean, I will say... It doesn't feel the same. Yeah. I feel like going to Vegas is the only time I've had Christmas not oh, in yeah. Omaha because I'm never like here for Christmas, but it did snow the first time I went. Iconic. So I feel like yeah. it was not that crazy. I love when it snows in the desert. Like when I follow some like people in Joshua Tree and like when it snows there, I'm just like, this is so cool. It's crazy. It feels like it's not supposed to happen. No. Illegal. Is it supposed to happen? I don't know. All right. Relaxing or exploring? Hmm. I mean, I am on my walk grind oh. and I do like a fun, like walk trail. <laughs> Does that count as exploring? Walking? Like through like a fun. Well, I guess if you're like walking in a neighborhood and you're trying to find someone's house who's famous, you're exploring. You're <laughs> yeah. on an expedition. You're stalking. <laughs> you're exploring and you're stalking. Um, well, I'm kind of, I think I'm thinking of like when Emma and I went to like 
um oh, where did we go big sir it was like all these cool sure. like foresty walks not yeah. hikes but like walks up to a waterfall like i really like doing stuff like that yeah. which i feel like is newer for me i never yeah. liked that but probably relaxing <laughs> i'm relaxing yeah yeah <laughs> um okay reading list or playlist which i feel like we can kind of oh what what that face uh, i mean reading list okay me too I'm not a, i don't care about anyone's playlist the amount of playlists i i think like maybe like for you personally like do you make a reading list or prefer exactly i don't care yeah. about my own playlist i don't like having any i literally used to make like 40 playlists a month. oh yeah like on spotify yeah i just don't have enough music to curate any playlist it would just no. be speak now <laughs> like no i know i used to my i used to listen to everything under the sun like my playlists are so like eclectic and random but why don't you start doing that again let me so fun for your the followers it could be yeah um i will say we recently we kept getting matthew coma's tiktok of his band i literally can't even remember the name of it now um, oh, oh oh hillary duff's yes he i would see him at the gym like every day oh. when i went um but he has a band what the hell is it called? Like something cinema. Um, we love it. Oh. And he's like a new, a new find that I'm like, oh, okay. Cute. I, for some reason I thought he was just a producer. I didn't know he like was in a band and everything. I didn't know either. Okay, Matthew cute. Coma band. What, let me um get the name of it. <laughs> Sorry. Why isn't it when I type Matthew Coma band? It just tells me the name of it. <laughs> oh, Winnetka yeah. Bowling League. Oh, interesting. It's so Very good. Very specific. I feel like you would like it. Okay. Is it what kind of music is it? Um, kind of like, <laughs> like poppy. Okay. Like, uh, I don't know. I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. I do not know how to explain genres of music. I don't either. But I'll show you like the song that we saw on TikTok. Okay. Okay, um, lemonade or iced coffee? Well, I hate iced coffee. If it was lemonade or cold brew, it's like oh. cold brew. I didn't know you hated iced coffee. It's disgusting. Even like with vanilla or something in it? It still has the like, I'm gonna get acid reflux Tea. feeling. Yeah, yeah, I'm a lemonade gal. I fucking love lemonade. Um, well, it also depends on the time. If it's past noon, I'm probably getting the lemonade. Oh, 100 percent. you know what i mean like i can't have a cold brew at 3 p.m the the so, i don't know oh my god the peach tea lemonade from starbucks like fuck me right up the peach tea have i had that probably yes. yeah yeah it's so good i love lemonade i started making lemonade oh i'm a trad wife my trad wife because brit should make my, tiktoks like all <laughs> slow yeah my friend has a lemon tree in her backyard and they just they're mm enormous mm. first of all and they stay good for so long because they're not like putting anything on the lemons i have them for like a month Damn. and then i cut into it and they're it's still nice oh that's amazing um who knows if that's <laughs> healthy <laughs> but yeah i've been making lemonade but Cute. also making it at home i'm like this is really bad for you because i just like you squeeze le literally how i make it is i squeeze lemons and then i have like a thing of simple syrup uh-huh or you can make your own simple syrup which is literally oh the just, lemonade like, is bad for you sugar yeah and then you're like pouring it all in and you see how much is going yeah. in. Yeah. Like, this cannot be good. I know. But I love the taste of lemons. I do too. I, I'm not like a huge lemonade girly though. I feel like I'm just like, oh, there's so much sugar in this. Like I'd rather not. Yeah. But on a nice summer day. I mean, yeah. A little laying straw. By the pool. Hell yeah. Um, okay. Bikini or one piece? Mm. Bikini. I'm bikini. But I do like a one piece if it's, if it's cute. Yeah. Your green one piece. My green one piece of suit. If you know, you know. Um, barbecue or bonfire? Ooh. Well, it depends if it's hair wash day. <laughs> depends if it's, it depends on what I'm wearing fully. Like it, if it I'm wearing a nice outfit that I would have to get like dry cleaned, I'm not sitting by a bonfire. See, I don't own clothes that need to be dry cleaned, but I... <laughs> well, you do because one time you put a sweater in the wash and dryer and it shriveled it <laughs> into the size of... Something okay. that Paris could wear. Very true. <laughs> um, yeah, if it's, I don't like it stuck in my hair and then it gets on your pillow and then you got to do laundry no. and you got to wash your sheets. It's like, I'd rather, I like a barbecue. I love, a, I love a summer barbecue. Oh, Chicken on the grill with like a nice marinade. Like, oof. I know we had Corn one. Corn on the cob. I know. Pasta salad. Ooh, potato salad. Well, any any type of cold salad that is carbs. <laughs> yes, we have a macaroni salad in the fridge and it's so good. It's like- From where? Garlicky, uh, Trader Joe's. <gasps> yeah. I fucking love pasta salad. 
Yeah. I do like, okay, here's the thing. If it was like a bonfire on a beach. That, I know, like the vibe is like good that with bonfire. Is nice vibes. But yeah. so my in-laws, they have like a fire pit at their house. And whenever TJ's like sister and husband come over, they like love doing that. I stay inside. Because of the smoke. I'm like, I don't want to smell like this. Yeah, I know. It's terrible. <laughs> Me and TJ like stay inside like the emos. Like we're like, <laughs> no. Also like mosquitoes. Yeah. Like it's, it's not for me. I know. I, I love up. I love the vibe of one. Yeah. If I'm like camping or if I'm in my backyard here, like that, a gas fire. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah. I'll never smell. Yeah. Um. Okay. Sunglasses or hat? Sunglasses. Me too. Ice cream or popsicles? Ice cream. Me too. Sandals or barefoot? Sandals. I love being barefoot. barefoot. Yeah. So dirty, so fat. That's why you got to wash your feet. <laughs> <laughs> well, my feet aren't, I didn't say that's my why, feet are dirty That's why time. Aaron's clipping and clapping. You're on a shoebie. <laughs> on the shower floor. You're a shoebie. Um, outdoor concert or outdoor movie? Ooh. I think outdoor, m- I don't know. I'm outdoor concert. I like, I'm not sitting on the ground <laughs> and being uncomfortable to watch a movie. That's a good point. Yeah. If I had a chair, I think sure. a concert, if it's a good weather, <laughs> the thing I was going to say movie, because usually those are at night because it's a projector. And so it's like cozier sure. in my opinion, yeah. but a concert, if it's the right weather, then yes, yeah. outside, I'd prefer that. I will say some concert, like I went to guys, I used to be a big OAR head. I loved OAR. <laughs> so random. And what's their like big song? Um, Safe and sound. Or is that someone else? Safe and sound. Safe and sound. No, no, no. The like, I can lift you up. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. No. Um, oh, they I sing are. Love and Memories. I feel like that was a big radio hit. Like, will you love me faster than the devil? Run oh, me straight, straight into, into the, the ground. ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was like a big radio oh, hit. Oh, okay, okay. I feel like- um, That's fair. Like, I, I get the obsession. I would say, yeah, no, we loved them. They have this album. It's like live at Madison Square Garden and that got us like very into OAR. But it was probably one of the like most fun concerts I've ever been to. It was at, um, I don't even know what it's called now, <laughs> in Massachusetts, like one of those outdoor pavilion mm-hmm. arenas, and downpouring the whole time. Ah! But so much fun. We okay. all had, like on our ponchos. It like if you got the right vibe, and it's like a hot summer night, I can be there for rain. Okay. If I'm cold, I'm not gonna. If it was Taylor Swift and it rained for three hours. I mean, it's so long. I, no. I think it's it's a different environment because there's so many people yeah. and it's so long. However, like I get the fun of it for some people, but yeah. it's just not for me. Yeah. Okay. I'll watch it on TikTok stream. Well, that was it. And that's okay. our kickoff into the summer month. I feel like we had mostly Pretty the same similar. answers. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that was it. Happy June. Happy June. Happy June gloom if you're in LA. <laughs> Um, it's like already sunny out not right now which is amazing i know sly this weekend we went for we like went to get coffee at like 8 30 mm-hmm. and we were like we'll walk we walked outside it's like misting <laughs> and i was like do we live in venice no yeah yesterday it felt like muggy outside yeah it's so weird i know anyway terrible terrible how was your weekend my weekend was good um our friend charlotte she goes by elio she's an artist oh yes what keep going what keep speaking okay well she had a like an album release party oh. and so she was like ha- i guess like the day before she was like oh i want like people who i've made songs with to sing with me okay that makes sense because both Tisha and i were in bed and we were like what the hell oh like i didn't invite you to one of his concerts yeah oh yeah no he didn't have a concert he literally <laughs> sang for like one verse <laughs> like literally every time nolan has a show we're like what please will you tell us <laughs> yeah no that was not his concert okay no, tj was like i'm texting him <laughs> <laughs> nolan would be like what yeah no it okay. was like an album okay, release okay. thing you forgive it <laughs> yeah yeah it's, it was not that big deal um how was it it was so fun it was downtown it was kind of a schlep oh wow was this place called the social club which is pretty cool yeah we're like so in the upper east side you so are <laughs> i don't know what that means because i'm not from new york um, the upper east side downtown la <laughs> yeah wait what did i write down i like had to write it down because like what else did i do oh saturday uh mike had a little birthday thing so i yep. went there for a little bit i got him um topo chico's <laughs> oh cute yeah and then his birthday's tomorrow for everyone yes listening. It's on, on tuesday if you're on Patreon, it's tomorrow. If you're on a regular listening, it was yesterday. So, so wish him a belated. Yeah. 
And then um, it was actually funny. I told Emma I'd buy her like lunch because she watched the cats when we oh, were gone. Nice. And so there's a sushi place we guys go to after Pilates when we take our Saturday class, it's like next to it. Mm-hmm. And so she's like, let's go there. So we walked from her house cause it's like not that far. And we get there and it's fucking closed. <laughs> so we walk all the way back and then we have to drive to another place. What, did it say why it was closed? It was just closed on Sundays. I mean, it was closed for like lunch oh, on Sundays. Oh, you did your Pilates on Sunday? No, we didn't do Pilates. Oh. We just walked to the, the Sorry. thing. Yeah, it's okay. You got it all. I thought you meant you like went there after Pilates, but you were talking in Oh yeah. what you normally do. Yeah. And then um, I, I understand now why you said a lot of Adam Sandler movies will not hold up today because <gasps> we did watch Waterboy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. actually what's so crazy is after we recorded that travis and jason on their podcast were talking about what adam sandler movie they would be whoa what do they say um well they then then they were talking about like how many there are and i think that travis was saying water boy obviously because like football yeah yeah but i'm also like (laughs) Are you making fun of yourself? I don't know. I know. But then Jason goes, oh, I thought it would be wedding singer for you. And then like looked directly in the camera and it caused like a whole little. Oh, he knew what he was doing. Um, The wedding singer is my favorite. Okay. Adam Sandler movie. I haven't seen it. It's. Okay. We'll watch that one next. So good. Um, I mean, they're all just like, there's things in them that I am not offended by any of it. Yeah. I will. Let's take note of that. But I see why people. Yeah. Get like mad at No, him. of course. Like watching this movie, I'm like, oh, he's supposed to be like. <laughs> ma, ma, ma mama. Yeah. I'm mama. like, okay, this is like really making fun <laughs> of people. But like most of his characters. No. And then that. because. Bef- I, did you like it? I did. I thought yeah. it was good. Like I wanted to watch Waterboy, but I have never seen the movies. And so I got them mixed up in my head. And uh, what's the other one? Billy Madison. Mm-hmm. I, that's when I was like, let's watch Billy Madison. I've never seen it. Yeah. And it just started and we were like 10 minutes and we're like, this is weird. Like this feels weird. It just wasn't like comfy at all. Like the other, <laughs> like the other Adam Sandler movies are, they're just very like early 2000s. Like it just felt weird. I don't know. Cause he's also acting like this crazy character. Yeah. Um, so then we started. Oh, so you, did, you stopped watching Billy Madison. Yeah, I was like, wait, wait, wait no, I want to watch Waterboy. And he's oh, like, oh, okay, that okay. one's way better. Let's watch that well, one. You got to go back and watch Billy Madison. I guess I will, but I do want to see Wedding Singer. I feel like Billy Madison is the like stupid humor. I know, but I don't know if I like will like that. I, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of like stupid, stupid humor. Yeah, no, it's definitely like kind of okay. like that. Yeah, but I, I do know. like how in all of them he like has love interests and yeah, it ties its way back into being like a good story. Yeah, and I always wind up crying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like even yeah, during Adam Sandler, <laughs> Happy Gilmore, just crying. You gotta watch The Wedding Singer. Oh my god. No, I will. I will. So I feel like that's the most like good. referenced. Oh, really? Like, I feel like a lot of people reference it all. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just you that references a lot, but I feel like I hear it a lot. Yeah. Um, I don't know the reference, but then I also started a book finally. I, that's what I was going to segue into with the um, reading or playlist. Oh. Because I wanted to say Carly's in her reading era. How'd you know? Because you told me. You sent me like five voice notes about it. Oh, I don't count those as reading. Those are like, vo- those are like audio books. Oh, okay. So you started a real I book. started a real, yeah. I was, I was listening to this like audiobook about people pleasing. Yeah. But I'm reading a book called, I started it. I'm only a chapter in, so I don't have a lot to say yet, but it's called, and I'm, I'm really trying to, okay. I got the book and I was like, it took me three days to open it. Yeah. <laughs> it's called The Chicago Way. I guess it's like a murder mystery thriller Ooh. type of thing. So we'll see. It was written by a man. So we'll see how I like it. I know, but I think it's a nice little- Break start. from, yeah. Well, start, yeah. <laughs> from all the Colleen Hoover's and yeah, that all. yeah. That's fair. I know. I, I've gotten really bad. I feel like I'm a lot of books behind. That's okay. I think I'm probably like two books behind on my Goodreads. It's okay. You got so much time. You have half the year left. That's so true. And if Let's you ha- see my reading challenge, how many flights you got this I'm year? Three books behind. For your goal. Yeah, you'll be fine. When did I finish my last book? April 24th. Oh boy, Aaron, you We're really got to get going. Yeah. I didn't read a single book in May. That's why I'm three books um, behind. Well, I can do it. How many flights you got? Because not a help. lot. Oh, well, like I'm only going to the East coast. I think as of now, Oh, I'm actually going there two times. <laughs> are you, where are you going for, do you know where you're going for Christmas yet? Utah. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, maybe you'll read a lot there and you'll catch up. I definitely am hoping that's what happens. I feel like you always, well, not always, but like 
It's a good yeah. place for you to catch up. I just need to like get back in it. The book I'm reading right now, I'm actually really enjoying. Um, I just do not have an attention span. Like I know, I'm it's getting hard. so distracted. Me too. One chap, literally one chapter. I kept being like, yeah. wait, what? I would like stop. I was, we started reading yesterday and I would like literally stop in the middle of a page and be like, doo, 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 like just look around. I know. I don't know what, know what it to is. do. It's TikTok. This, Get is he, rid of it. Is TJ reading On a Quiet Street? Yeah, he loves it. Oh, good. I love that one. That's the one I'm always tell people to read and I always get good feedback. Yeah. Because well, he read Verity and loved it. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, I'll he, give him- He can be in our book club whenever yeah. it starts again. Yeah. <laughs> but I was like, I'll give him like a similar vibe where it's like crime thriller, but also like drama. Yeah. Um, Cause he loves that. Mm-hmm. Um, we also started listening to when we drove to, to and from Vegas, The Seven Husbands. Oh. And he like seems like he's into it. Oh my God, so he has good. to read it. I think we're probably like halfway through. Okay. Um, But I feel like that's just what we'll listen to when yeah. we go places. And like- Oh, listening to it. Yeah, like what an experience. Car. I don't know what that's like. It's actually kind of weird because they have different like Voices. characters almost um, that are voiced by different people. But like just hearing the story being told again, I'm just like, this is such a good book. Oh, I love that book. I think that was the first, yeah, that was the first one that kicked it all off it's for me. It's so good. It's so good. I love. I love too. Well, how was your weekend? We never even talked about it. Oh, you know, I just really wanted a nice chill weekend. It was great. I will, um, I need to circle back about something. Okay. I spoke probably like a month ago. Ah, oh, no, this was probably like three weeks ago when we got back from San Diego and TJ had all the bug, the bed bug bites. Oh yeah. Like a week later, he never got any more when we got home, but then a week later I started getting bites on my hands however when you look at it online it's because we thought it was weird that i didn't get any at the hotel yeah and tj was covered yeah and i was like that's crazy and so he wound up looking it up and it says that some people can just like have no reaction or some people it takes 14 days for it to kick in and so then when i got it i started getting them like a week later and i was like okay maybe it's just now kicking in for me Uh because i will quite literally kill myself <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> if there are bed bugs in our house. Um, but so since then, just to like take precaution, we have done like everything to minimize that happening. Like we wrapped our bed in one of those like yeah, that's things. Good. Um, I had been washing our sheets, like literally like I would switch them like every couple of days. Cause I was like, heat kills them. Mm-hmm. But the only thing that really like kills them, kills them is steam. Oh, so he was like steaming them with your steamer. I, I, well, we were doing that. And then I was like, this, it's so small. Yeah. So then I ordered this, it's called the neat steam cleaner. Okay. Oh my God. Like it changed my life. Like what is it? It's okay. So it's a, like a big box that just holds water. Okay. And then it's like a long cord and you can put all these different kinds of attachments on it. Like you can steam your floor, your windows, oh. your beds, your couches. Did you buy rugs. it or rent it? I bought it. It was like 150 bucks. Um, I sp- I'm gonna buy one. I spent the whole day. It's also like a great way to just clean because steam kills so much bacteria, yeah. germs, whatever. And it's like non-toxic. So it's like, you're not putting chemicals on all your shit either. Mm. You can do your floors with it. And then I was like, okay, but like, will it clean it? Cleaned the floors. I need it. No, I'm obsessed with it. Cause I have it. carpet upstairs. Yes. And we got it, cats. Oh my God. I am, I spent the whole day Friday. And like, when I tell you every surface, like every surface. Can I borrow it? Yeah. Okay. It Is that gross? Like, I don't think so. Are your bed bugs in it? <laughs> no, no, no. Maybe I'll get my own like, actually. <laughs> it doesn't suck them up. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I did that like all day Friday. Then I got up to the point where like the living room and kitchen are. Uh huh. And I was like, my back hurts. <laughs> I did so <laughs> much. Fair. I need to take a break. So then Saturday I woke up. I did the couch. It's never looked better. So oh my God, clean. I have to try it. It's a actually, I feel like Nolan will be obsessed with it. He was actually just talking today about this. <laughs> He's nodding his head. It's like cleaning this guy on TikTok who cleans and he'll like steam. What was it? He like steams their drains, steams their yeah. drains no, and everything. It comes with all these little attachments. You can use it to clean your car. <gasps> it also does steam your clothes. This thing is 150 bucks. Yes. Did you get it from Amazon? 
You can buy it on Amazon. Yeah, I bought, but I bought it from this site directly because um, it comes with warranty. Because Aaron's woke. <laughs> <And> so, <laughs> Sorry, Jeff uh, Bezos. <laughs> um, and because it was going to come in the same amount of time anyway. Two days? It literally so. came the next day. Oh. Buying it from the site because I think they're based out of California. Okay, then I'll maybe do that. Uh, literally, if you ordered it this afternoon, I bet it would show up tomorrow. Oh my God, I'm so excited. It's so. This is 33. <laughs> no, no. Oh, sorry. And 32. Yeah, I'm still Not 32. yet. Just a couple weeks. <laughs> um, but I'm telling you, like, it was the best. I had so much fun and I like kept. <laughs> I had so much fun. I kept being like, TJ, look at how crazy this is. <laughs> He's just like working on Friday and I'm like, look at the floors. <laughs> you are in trad life. <laughs> no, it was so sick. And then Saturday he like went out of town and I was doing like the couch before he left. And like, I wasn't doing it like half ass. Like I was like <laughs> blood, sweat and tears steaming away. She had her hat, her uh, and, hard hat on. Yeah. And then like he left and then probably like an hour after after I sent him a picture, I was like, look at this. Like it's, be I even have a photo. <laughs> like the couch, it looks brand new. Okay, so look at my couch now <laughs> and then look at this picture. Like I literally was like, it's gorgeous. Wait, I really need it, especially for the shit box room upstairs. And also the cats have randomly pooped and peed like, on this couch like twice. Gorge. Oh, wow. She looks steam cleaned. Yeah, you can see like the steam lines. Yeah, it looks like someone came in and like- yeah did all that so does it work on wood floors mm -hmm. yeah it has so it has like different attachments so in the little pamphlet it comes with it's like this attachment is the best to use for xyz oh my god so i was like switching the attachments i literally oh was like anyone who's like young it's like what the fuck are you talking you about? gotta get it i feel like it'd be so good for like any living situation yeah especially if you don't like using harsh chemicals to clean your shit like yeah. i yeah. feel like steam is a great way to just be so woke <laughs> so woke and environmentally friendly although i don't know if it is but yeah but that's what i did and then sunday i just had like little baby little auntie time oh yeah with the little baby the little baby everyone i was posting him on my story and everyone was like you need to be a mom <laughs> oh god <laughs> are you feeling like being a mom yet no yeah no. it was funny he was so good and it's so interesting like i saw this baby when he was seven hours old like yeah he was a little chicken nugget and like now it's so crazy like watching him like become a little person like he just smiles so <laughs> much and when I dropped him off at home I was like helping her bring stuff in I had to buy him some clothes and she was Aww. like no you don't do that and I was like no this is why like this is what I this do this is why I don't have kids so I can buy shit yeah, for yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I bought That's him like a 50 now, dollar outfit for the fourth of July and she's like don't do that and oh I was like God. no I have to <laughs> <laughs> you're literally his aunt yeah and aunt. Um, aunt. like I was carrying him around in his little baby carrier and <laughs> he fell asleep. It was just so sweet. He's just such a good baby and so smiley. And then when I dropped her off, I was helping her carrying everything inside. And I was like, oh, just like start crying. So I want to like stop hanging out with you. You know what I mean? But yeah. He just, I was leaving and he's just smiling at Aww. me and I'm like, stop. Like be <laughs> annoying. Alone. You're freaking me out. Be annoying. So I want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Does he ever just like start screaming? Not really. He only, so like when we were, we went out to brunch and he's just like in his little Nuna stroller and he would get like a little fussy. We gave him a bottle. He's fine. Oh, so it's like he it's like me. is telling you what's wrong and then you fix it. No, like I get it. It's like being hangry. Yeah. I have heard him scream. Like, don't get me wrong, yeah. but he's a baby. Yeah. But never, in, I mean, he's, he was so good. We were at, I brought him. <laughs> I brought him to the Bottega store. <laughs> oh my God. And I'm like going around and like, okay, little Bex. Do you want like, this? <laughs> I was like, this is Rafia. Like, <laughs> That's what Aaron does with me at the Bottega store yeah. too. I'm like, it's it's what? <laughs> well, we went to the mall where it was so sentimental. The only other time I've been there was when we got our Cartier rings. Oh yeah. Which mall was that? To Topanga. It's okay. so nice. It's huge. Like, I don't even know why I go to any other mall. I know it's because like, it's so far. It's not really. It's like I know. the same as going. It reminds me a lot of the like Culver City Mall. Yeah. Um, the one that that's like our pop up. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, but better. And there's like luxury shopping oh, wow. there. Okay. Oh yeah, I do remember we got our Cartier and rings there. There's a Target. There. Like it's it has everything it you could ever want, and it's only literally like 25 minutes away. Yeah, I always forget. Yeah. I just I have a thing with cars. You know me. I know. I know. I know. It's if it's more than five minutes away, I can't go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, the Sherman Oaks Gallery is a, sh a shit. Uh, I know, but somehow I'm there like all the time. You just go to Topanga. Yeah, but it's always just like little things, like free people. They have free people movement, yeah. so it's like, oh, that's there. They have like. I'm trying to think what that's else. easier to go to than. 
Erwan. Yes. About but the parking I, lot. Yeah, but I think Erwan has more stuff, but whatever, it doesn't matter. They have like random stores there that I, or I'll go to like, if I'm looking for like a wedding thing, it's like, oh, they got Bloomingdale's and yeah. Macy's, but that's kind that's of it. That's you just, if you're looking for wedding stuff, Topanga. They have yeah. like, they have H&M home there. Like all of the stores. Oh sto- yeah, like, I forgot that's a thing. I went in there and they had so many, I, did I tell you I want my birthday party themed to be like lemon? Lemon? <laughs> like lemon drops. Oh, lemon. Oh yeah, cute. I bought Beckham an outfit that has lemons oh. on it. Are you gonna have a birthday party here? Yeah, I'll be home. Oh, I thought you were going to be oh, at a wedding. No, I will. I will be not home, but I think I'm going to do it because I want to. I want to get a house in Malibu. Oh, fun! And I want to just lay on the beach for like days. Oh, fun! And then I just want to have like a dinner that's, and the theme will be lemon drop. Cute. And I'll make everyone wear yellow. Did I ever tell you those? You know, those cut water came out with lemon drop. I know that. Because you told me yes. And then Courtney, when we went to EDC, she brought cut waters. They have like Moscow mule ones. Yeah, yeah, they have a ton. And she was like, I wanted to get you the lemon drop ones, but they didn't have any. I know. Every time I see them, I look for them to like, Ugh. so we can like try them. Well, um, but I, they're 15% alcohol. Yeah, they're well, crazy. I said that to Courtney. I was like, I'm too nervous to drink it because Carly blacked out. And she was like, you'll be fine. Well, I had two, oh. 12% mm. of the margarita ones like i drink one and i'm drunk yeah it's it's crazy but that's like kind of a slight up there's I know. probably a ton Cheap of date. sugar in them right probably <laughs> i think i have one in my fridge i can really go look but <laughs> i'm good is my water still in there no i did drink it okay, you can venmo me yeah okay she put it she had the audacity to put arrowhead in my fridge when that was the, i literally told her I was like that's the one water i just i don't care about water but that's the one i just like don't really like and, and then, then ended up drinking it? it yeah and it honestly was fine don't knock it until you so try. So maybe I like Don't it. Don't knock cold. until you try it a hundred times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a hundred times. Maybe it's because it was like really cold. And yeah. Hot. Oh yeah, cold water hits. Yeah, I don't know. But um, thank you for putting that fridge. It was nice you're of welcome. you. That was my weekend, really. Okay. Slay, slay, slay. Slay the boots. House down. <sighs> yeah. Where's that? Where, I don't know what that means. I don't either. <laughs> oh my God. I feel like Dave Portnoy. Wait, speaking of slay the boots, house slay down. Boots? I don't even, I think it's like the boots slay the house down boots i don't know yeah i'm sorry i'm extremely we're done yeah um but okay did you ever do you know about the trixie motel yes so trixie Mm -hmm. had i don't know the pronouns they go by so i am sorry you don't know the what the pronouns they go by i think someone said he okay when have we had this conversation before we have and i'm pretty sure people like it's okay it's he but i i could be wrong. <laughs> so Trixie, I'll just say Trixie. Tr- just say Trixie. Trixie uh, did a, for those who don't know, bought a motel in Palm Springs and renovated it. And it's like themed, so fun and Trixie-esque, yada, yada, yada. They have a new show on HBO and Trixie oh, right. was buying a house in LA. Mm-hmm. And it's really funny, like watching it kind of felt like it was kind of like a spoof of a, like an HGTV show where they go and are like looking at all these houses. And that's like what it felt like to me at least. Like house hunters. But my contractor, (laughs) so I know about the show because my contractor posted it and he was on the first episode. Whoa! And I was just like watching it and I was like, oh my God. so weird. It was so funny. I I feel like you keep having these like house things happen. Well, he works with the Property Brothers. Okay. And so the Property Brothers (laughs) were in like a little bit on the episode, like Trixie called them to be like, hey, I need like a gay person to come like work on my house. Do you not want I need a gay person. And it was like so stupid, but I loved it. The episode was really cute. I think it's definitely like playing into like how fake HGTV stuff is. Yeah. But yeah, then my contractor was on it for like five minutes, like That's doing crazy. work. That's so weird. I know. That's funny, my neighbor, um, in like my condo complex, she works for HGTV, like <gasps> the shows. I think I told, I've told you yes. about that. She was like house hunters. And she was actually house really- House hunties. <laughs> house hunties. It was really hard to film during the pandemic because, well, not during the pandemic, but like, especially now, cause the interest rates are so high. Yeah. So like people are literally like not looking for places to live. Yeah. I just thought that was interesting. I was like, oh, it's affecting like this show. And it's fake. <laughs> and it's very fake, yeah. yeah. House hunters definitely, they're like, we're buying this house, but like, let's- 
yeah, by the time they film it, they've already put their deposit yeah. or they're in escrow or something like that. Property Brothers does that too. The Property Brothers I feel like they just have to. episodes are so, they are the exact same thing they every are. single time. They are. They bring you to a house that, that's like over budget. Yep. And they're like, okay, but like you wouldn't have to do any work and it's over budget. And then they bring you to a shithole. <laughs> And yep. then they bring you to one that's like right in the middle. And that is exactly what Trixie did in the first episode. Hilarious. And I'm like, okay, you obviously already bought this house. Yeah. It's like clearly. But I loved it. Okay, good. Trixie is funny. And I'm not, I don't, I never watch any of that stuff. Yeah. But it was also really funny because Trixie <laughs> kept being like, they said that the limit was like $3 million. It's her and her partner. Okay. They've been together for like six years, I think they said. So 2015 or 2016. Um, And they were like, the most we can send is 3 million, but like I'm comfortable with 2.5. And I'm like, (laughs) you've got to be rich. Yeah, like. (laughs) And they were like, we only have like, I've spent all my money on this and that and I only have $150,000. And I'm like, I know you have Yeah, that's crazy. Going to your YouTube channel alone, like I know you're making more than that yeah i thought you're gonna be like our goal is three million but i'm comfortable with like seven <laughs> no i think the house they wound up buying was like exactly three million but yeah she, trixie said that they would prefer it to be 2.5 okay well teach them i know it just was interesting so i'm like you're lying <laughs> <laughs> but maybe not maybe they i mean yeah. they they trixie probably has a lot of money but they maybe in assets you know, Trixie. maybe they're in investments and assets and they don't actually like have it liquid, yeah. which I did not realize until literally like year, two years ago, probably. Oh. Like I was like, so Ky- like just random person, Kylie Jenner. So if she's a billionaire, she doesn't have a billion dollars in her bank account. No, <laughs> that's, she has a billion dollars in equity. Mm. Didn't think about that at all. What, what are you, she's doing the thousand yard stare. I wonder if, so would I be a millionaire because I my house is a million dollars? I don't know. I mean, your net worth is probably a million. Okay. I think. Guys, like, this is why I have a business manager. I mean, we don't know anything. Yeah. I don't know anything about banking. I don't know either. I don't even know if I have a debit card. Oh, I definitely don't because I always have to. Well, they're sending them. I asked. Okay. We're getting new ones. Don't worry. I don't have a debit card. What? I don't have a debit card. It's so funny. I, when I go to, I think I've told you this, the dispensary, I like, yeah. did I already tell you about this? Like I didn't have money. Yeah. Last week. Okay. Maybe, maybe that's the same story. Okay. Never mind. Um, it's really annoying because there are certain sites that like only take, like they don't take American Express. Mm-hmm. And like most of the time you have to pay with a debit card. And then I have literally have to be like, TJ, <laughs> Can I use your debit money? card to pay this parking ticket? <laughs> <laughs> Do you not have any other credit cards that aren't Amex? Majority of my cards are all Amex. I know I have Amex and I have a a MasterCard and those are the two that MasterCard, are like- MasterCard, I feel like they take on sites with debit cards. They do usually. Yeah. But yeah, it's just funny because it's like, sometimes they don't take MasterCard. I think, I think those are like the two cards that like some businesses are like, we don't take these. Oh, American Express is just so slay. <laughs> I know. I love her. I do too. I like, got my flights to Omaha, by the way. How much? Um, I think it was like 700 total. For both? For both. Tickets? For oh, me. Oh, Nolan's not going. No, I was honestly, we're doing so much. I was like, just stay. <laughs> like you can just stay. <laughs> and, um, and it also, it was just like so expensive. I was just like, That's I'm just going to go. So much. For how long? Um, it's a Wednesday to a Sunday. So it's not like super long, like but seven hundred dollars. And uh, it was weird because it was cheaper from Burbank, which is actually a sleigh. However, I do have a layover. Ugh. But they're only like one hour. So it's what like get airline? on, get off, get on. Um, American. Mm-hmm. I already looked. On the way there, the first flight's a Boeing, then the second is Airbus. Yeah, but did you see what kind of Boeing? Oh no, is it a sp- you'll have to tell me the details. I'll look um tj flew this weekend on a southwest plane and i was like i can't even look because i'm gonna freak out the whole <laughs> like, time you look at the flight map what if the plane drops on the flight map <laughs> no i literally was doing that and that is exactly what i was like it hasn't moved <laughs> oh my god it's scary out there when are they doing the second submersible i am ready i know do we know like a I date saw a funny tweet that was like i love this like every year it's just like the hunger games of the <laughs> literally <laughs> but it's rich people instead of poor people like yeah. like making them themselves die i'm just really curious and i'm i'm sorry if this is mean but i have no sympathy if something happens because you saw what just happened yeah what like why would you put yourself in a situation where like 
you know i know <laughs> i don't understand i'd be i'd literally be like well i'm dying <laughs> like there would not be an ounce of yeah me like that's he like, better I'll have his this. things in order yeah he's got his shit I keep together thinking frank is a pillow kind of is um okay i do have to pee before we do this okay. day in history you can go piss girl okay all right piss girl what do we got here's the thing okay I don't That's know not how, good. <laughs> I don't know how days and months and years work, um, but we're now on the, our third summer of doing this. And I'm just like, I don't know. Seven. Seven Se- It would be like the eighth summer would be, I think it would redo. Okay. But like there's, leap, there's year, like leap years and stuff. So I'm not positive, but yeah. it would be about seven because isn't every year it's like a day later. Yeah. I don't know. So like hopefully. We're going to have to end are, this podcast in seven summers. Hopefully it's like every recap podcast. <laughs> yeah. Um. I don't know if any of these names have been said. Okay, we'll, we'll just see and maybe but, I'll remember, but probably not. Okay. Ninja. Okay. He's our age. Okay. He's older than me. Okay. Troy Savon. You said he's our age. He's older than me. Oh, he's, I guess Keep he's, it consistent. Well, <laughs> well, he's a 91 baby, you know? Okay, okay. Um, but he is, what's, what's today? The fifth? Hello? He is 25 days older than me. Okay. Um, Troy Savon, Happy Pride. I really want to go to that t- tour. Him and Charlie XCX. I feel oh, like they'd really? be like so slay. And it's like, you know what's crazy about that is when I saw the Reputation tour, um, oh. Charlie XCX was opening. She was like one of the openers yeah. and Troy Savon came out. Right, I remember that. As a special guest. Crazy. I, oh, I love Troy. It was during his, oh my, nah, my, my, my. I know, those are some good times. <laughs> those songs. <laughs> um, Mark Wahlberg, Marky Mark, what's up? How, how I was waking up at four. Yeah. Probably amazing. Two. Oh, sorry, two. Um jo- Joe Gatto from right. Practical, Practical Jokers. Yeah, like I'm can't remember if we've done these. I know. But I think it's just because I know them. Yeah, that's what personally. I'm thinking too. Yeah. We're friends. We're best friends. Um Pete Wentz. Okay. He's forty five. That makes sense to me. Old. Nick Kroll. Old. <laughs> Love Nick Kroll. I know. Brian McKnight. Who's and that? Kenny, you know, he's like one like a dream come true i'm pretty sure that's brian Two. um and then kenny g my dad he's your dad like the same he's the same age as my dad oh my god 68 okay sly love that oh except i think all. my parents are turning 69 what do you year. say i said i do think my parents are turning 69 this you year. know what that means surprise baby <laughs> <laughs> um ew. Okay. sorry i'll go puke now okay and then for entertainment we've got teen wolf I never watched it. I never you? watched it either. I watched Teen Mom, didn't watch Teen Wolf. You know what you did watch a lot of? <laughs> what? Please tell me. Mulan. Oh, I did. I saw it six times in theaters. I had the costume. Don't cancel me. I was a child. And it fucking no. Okay? Yeah. I didn't know. So don't come at me. This is my apology video. Carly would still do it today. <laughs> I would. I That's love her. That's how much she loves Mulan. Should I dress up as Mulan and see what happens? Do you think I'd, I'd definitely be on like LA Influencer Snark? Maybe. Like maybe. Wow. You think you can make it there? I don't know. You could try, certainly. I'll really try. I think that it should be like a social experience. Every Halloween, I really try to get canceled. <laughs> uh, specific, but nobody cares enough about specifically me. Specifically on LA influencers. So. Yes. <laughs> that, that place is dangerous. Oh, it's terrible. I know. It's like. Carly started falling for something she was reading the other day. And then I, I had to bring was, her back down to earth. I was. It, it really was nothing gets about me. us because we don't make it there. But yeah, we do sometimes. Oh. It's always shocking. <gasps> You got to send it to me. No, we looked the other day. I'll remind you. I just can't say it on here. Oh, I know what it is. It's the thing TJ was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. TJ was. Having Let's just say it's never right. Yeah, it's not right. <laughs> you know, Reddit, the place where everyone's level headed. And, yeah. <laughs> you know, the place where everyone is right and <laughs> yeah. um, has really good decency for everyone. <laughs> you know, that place. Um. Okay. Yeah. Carly Stokey, so she's like, I saw this on LA Influencer Snark. And then I'm like looking at it and then I do like two minutes of like research. I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, actually, Carly, this is what happened. And yeah. Then like, I'm like, oh. oh, okay. That's why it's dangerous. It's so easy to get That's why it's in. dangerous. And like a lot of it can make sense if you believe it because yeah. it's like, oh, it's just life. It's, it's No, it's truly like QAnon. Like you don't do your own research outside of it and you're just taking people's It's an echo chamber. For but, what it is. But I mean, I guess it's there for a reason. So like, why are we looking at it? We probably shouldn't, but it's- I mean, like, I do not. I, I, I understand why it's there. I do think it's a little like kind of bullying, but also like some people do need to be called out. So- I know. I, I, Carly has shown me like threads on there though. And I read them and I get like so upset. And it's about other people. Oh yeah, it's about other people. And, like this is so mean. Yeah. People are like vile. However, we did, I did show you something and then it kind of was true. 
the thing that we like i sent you and you're like oh oh the tiktok you sent me mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah but i do I, I think like but it's like not that deep it's I like they make it way crazier there is truth to some things but it's like the theories and the oh, this is happening because of this. Yeah, like, those are always messed up. That, stuff. that gets lost in translation. I mean, that shit gets lost in friend groups. Like when people tell each other about what happened with the situation. Totally. Imagine like your friend group, it can get a little skewed. Imagine it on the internet <laughs> and people like not even knowing the full story or like yeah. this person in real life. Obviously people are on the internet. They're there and you can scrutinize them because yeah. they put themselves out there. But like, I think there's just be aware. I think there's a difference between like theorizing and then like stating something as if it's fact. Yeah. Like saying that I'm cringy on our Good Influences podcast. That's not a fact. <laughs> That's not a fact. No. <laughs> you might have thought she was cringy, but it's not a but fact. It's not a fact. That's an opinion. It's an opinion and it's a wrong one. Yeah. Which. No, I do think I am cringy sometimes. I feel like. I don't think that you are cringy. I think I get, I, when I'm nervous, I get really loud. Yeah. So that's probably what it was. But that's. Fine. I've always been that way. Like yeah. my friend, like Caitlin and I be in school and I'd have to like do a speech or something. And oh. before we'd be sitting in class, like waiting for the teacher to come in and I'd be talking to her and she'd be like, she heard talking so loud. I was probably oh. like, man, I'm so scared about this speech. We had to take a quick phone call. We oh were yeah, like I'm turning sorry. to this day in history. Sorry, I had a, I had a hair, a major hair question. Carly's trying to get the red out of her hair. Which I didn't even know about, but apparently it's there. You did it kind of is. It as an insult. <laughs> you, you've said that to me before. You're like, why is your like red? Yeah. yeah, I think it's the dye when it kind of starts fading. Yeah. It can look a little brown, red. It's probably because your natural hair color, maybe it's a little red. It is. Okay. Watch out, Aaron. The hangover. I've seen that. Just thought you'd be proud of that. I actually think God. If you hadn't seen that, that would be like shocking. I had the thing is though, I saw it like in 2018. Yeah. Which is well, crazy. That but was I saw it like nine years after it was made. Which so. isn't too bad for me. And it's a great movie, obviously. That's really crazy, actually. I know. I was about to text I was about to text you yesterday and be like, what movie should I watch? Because I feel like Yeah. I feel like you know good classic movies that I've never seen. Yeah. That you would know I'd like. Okay. I mean like the staples, like the hangover. I mean, it's probably one of the most quoted movies. Yeah. I mean, I've already seen that one. Yeah. But five years ago. Yeah. <laughs> it's so crazy to me too, because like, I feel like when movies like that would come out during the time, it was like all anyone would yeah. hyper fixate I on. agree. It's like that one thing. I don't know what I was doing or where, where I was. Nothing. <laughs> Literally. You were locked in your basement. I was shucking corn and playing video <laughs> games in my basement, playing pinball. Uh, my dad was making me fix all the pinball machines. Yeah. Child, Child labor. labor. <laughs> um Rhett and Link okay. I don't really follow them but I know a lot of people do yeah they were formed in 2006 wow it's been a long time kudos wow. to that almost 20 years I know holy fuck um, like, we've been almost doing this for 10 years I know it's wild the Truman Show have you ever seen that movie I it's like Probably. one of those I've like, seen that one was like always just like on TV yeah too. yeah um Satisfaction by the Beatles. I can't get no satisfaction. Satis I can't get no. No, no, no. No. <laughs> um, Kendra on top, which I didn't realize oh, was the, the name spin-off? of her show. Yeah. That's very funny. So I feel like then I didn't understand. I was like, she's on top. She's like l- no, in the headlines. 100%. That's what the producer wanted. I'm like, oh no, wanted. she's... She's, she's a top. Cow girl in him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... And then Love Stoned by Justin Timberlake. Love Stoned? Yeah, the, the song's like, I think that she knows. Oh. I think that she knows. Sounds so familiar. I've definitely heard it. <laughs> no. I can't believe um he's like going on tour. Have no, you seen? Crazy. And people I mean, are going. <laughs> I know. Well, at least What's they're going. Crazy people are going. You've seen the J-Lo stuff, right? Uh, how she canceled her tour. Yeah. Yeah. Which is like so sad. I know. Like, I think like people just didn't buy tickets. Embar- I know. It was, it's like so I embarrassing. Like, imagine planning a whole tour and you have to cancel all of it. No. Because ticket sales are low. But That's also so it's sad. Like, I feel like people then just move to smaller venues. But I think that maybe she just has like too much pride. I feel like that. she would have too much pride. Yeah. It's like, I'm not doing the Troubadour. <laughs> she probably was like, it's not fucking worth it for me. I'm do not the doing the Echoplex. It. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe she could do Bardot. The Troubadour. <laughs> Yeah, Jayla, you can make up the Super Bowl experience we had by playing any one night. <laughs> I did that. Bardo. If you don't I know, Bardo is a is a section of the the venue that emo night is at where like 
small bands perform yeah. like up and coming like bands or artists so obviously little, she would never play there it's little teeny it's like a like the stage is like the size of like the rug in i my think the room. room is the size of this room yeah yeah literally <laughs> so that's why it's funny to us if yeah. you needed context i do think like there's other factors like i will say like i'm not not sold on the ben and jen oh oh a divorce trouble in paradise breakup thing yeah yeah, so I, I wasn't really that, like following that to be honest. Yeah, so I think that, I mean there's been more headlines. It was on like TMZ a lot of stuff. Like they've been, were seen in public this weekend, but like all of the interactions kind of looked like they were not happy. Hmm. I mean, again, just saying what I see. I it's don't also know. Also, JLo, really she's probably just not happy. It's <laughs> true. Um, so yeah, I think that maybe if there is something happening between the two of them it gave her more of a reason to also be like, I don't want to fucking do this tour. That's true. Yeah, she did. The statement was like, I want to be with my family. You know, it was really interesting that I did see. It was a TikTok. I think I saw it last week. She's in a movie <laughs> um, with Simi Liu. Is that his last name? He know. was one of the Barbies, the Ken dolls. Oh, okay. Um, and so they, they're in like some movie together, I guess. I have no idea, but they're doing press. And wherever they were, the person asked like, what's going like how are things with ben and then see me interject and was like no 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 like we're not gonna do that like you know better and that's when i was like okay if nothing was going on like why would he get i mean so then that's upset? weird yeah yeah that's very strange so that was a little tea to me but again i don't know we're yeah, not unless, unless he's just sick of hearing about it <laughs> like, shut the fuck up no she won't shut up about literally. it literally <laughs> that's all i've heard the past two weeks um okay and then under news i had do you wash your feet <laughs> other news i had that i you know we're big into the fighting scene um, yeah oh my god fighting all the time Paul and tyson postponed oh postponed yeah, when because mike tyson had i actually saw this maybe last week but he was on a flight and oh they I had saw. to like declare they had to be like we needed any medical professional i guess he has an ulcer mm -hmm. so um they told him he's not allowed to train for like a couple weeks so Damn. i think they were just like we'll push it back a couple weeks but you know, it's going to be the fight of the year. It's funny. My parents' friends, like in their neighborhood, they're all like in their 50s and 60s and they are literally having a watch party <laughs> like at one of their houses to watch the Jake Paul I mean, fight. It's just funny. July 20th. Okay. So it's going to be postponed. It was originally July 20th? Yeah. Okay. It doesn't say when. You know, and you know, Jake I Paul's feel like, like they'll probably he's wait pussy until. pussy scared. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was like, I agree. Oh, I think it's just like, sorry, Jake. <laughs> sorry to just, you know, assume. Yeah, it said um, Jake and Mike both agreed it was best to push the event back as they both want equal training time. Okay. Jake also, I will say it probably benefits him too because he's like, oh, I can train longer. That's true. So he's not really that he's selfless. Like, Fuck yeah. Yeah. No, he's a great person. <laughs> he's amazing. Our king. Our king. Oh, Jakey, I just love you. He's like, ugh, just love his heart. <laughs> <laughs> love his soul same <laughs> um that was like all i had for news i was really right. going through tmz kind of so, dry it's, it's rough out there sometimes kinda dry balls i love dry balls little dry balls. my eyeballs are dry balls eyeballs do be dry balling all right well i have an am i the asshole that i think you can relate to a little bit can not, in a say, not a bad way okay. i mean it's like I'll just say it. It's about peanut butter. Okay. Ooh. Am I the asshole for kicking out my niece after she lied about a peanut allergy? <gasps> my niece, Lily, 10, female, came to stay for a sleepover on Friday night. I made chicken stir fry with peanuts. When I put it down, she started freaking out, saying she had a severe peanut allergy. How now, would you not know that about your niece? Well, here, keep listening. Now I was floored because I knew Lily didn't have this allergy yeah. as her mom, my sister, and I are very close in contact. Not only did she lie, but she put me in a dangerous situation if she did have an allergy. I called my sister and explained everything. My sister was livid, calling me dramatic and <gasps> saying I ruined Lily's sleepover. She said I should have talked to, just talked to Lily and let her have a different dinner. I ended, up, I ended up packing Lily's bag and calling my sister to pick her up. My sister hasn't spoken to me since and Lily keeps texting me apologies. Oh my God, this 10 year old's oh. like apologize now i'm wondering am i the asshole for kicking her out i don't think you should have kicked the kid out no i think that you were just upset with her mom yeah i do think kids are gonna lie ex i do understand she was probably traumatized mm -hmm. i get why she called the mom if it were any parent i feel like they would be like thank you so much for calling me uh, and telling me that my kid is a liar yeah and for checking to make sure 
Yeah. That they weren't fucking deathly allergic to peanuts. Yeah. And she's 10. Like maybe she just saw it on TV. It yeah. was like, I want to be like this. And like your, your brain no, is not formed totally. yet. Do not be mad at the child. Just tell her that it's wrong to yes. lie about it because it's a, it's a very severe thing that people have. I think it's like, oh, I'm like, God, she's probably just doing stuff like that because her mom already gave her the pass. Like she's yelling at her sister saying she's I know. dramatic when like yeah. you should tell your kid like, hey, like this is wrong. Don't yeah, do Discipline that. your kid. Not, I mean, like, yeah, I would be frustrated if, if I had a sister and she like kicked my kid out. I'd be like, are you kidding? Seems like she was mad at her before that though. That's yeah. why she was like, just, well then come pick her up. If yeah, maybe so there was some underlying tea there. Just thought that it was interesting. Yeah. That is very interesting. Maybe she was like, maybe she knows someone who has a peanut allergy and she got jealous. And so she was like, I want to have <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, she heard our podcast and was like, Aaron's husband has yeah. one. I'm going to say I do too. Okay. Am I the asshole for telling my best friend he can't date my sister? Ooh. I met my best friend. We're both 23 M. <laughs> huh? About five years ago. Wait, can you say that again? The, they're 23 males. They're both males. Okay. About five years ago, I very impulsively moved out of state and we found each other as roommates and became best friends overnight. I decided to move back home a couple months ago and with no real ties to his family anymore, he came with me. We have moved in with my dad, my older brother, and my sister until we find stable jobs and a place to live. My sister, 20 female, is a lot like him and he always reminded me of her, so I wasn't surprised that they became fast friends. I didn't even think twice when they started hanging out without me. It wasn't until a few days ago when I noticed her playing with his hair and let him and him letting her that it clicked to me. I didn't freak out or anything. I actually just sat there while I processed the information. He has like this insane hair that women in general love. So I was trying to rationalize it, but I just couldn't. It seemed like it was a little more friendly than simply hair touching. Anyway, the next day when we had a minute alone, I asked him about it and he got weird. Started giggling like a kid and shit. He swore nothing has (laughs) happened, but that he's down bad on the low. Oh boy. I didn't say much to him at that time as I processed, but a few hours later, I asked my sister about it and her and I argued, which wasn't out of the ordinary. I told her it was weird to me that she was coming onto my friend. She told me it was none of my business. I immaturely told her she was poaching my friend. We argued, she cried and pushed me out of her room. Normal sibling stuff. I finally told my best friend I wasn't cool with him dating her. He didn't push back push back too much but was clearly sad i just told him it could complicate things he said he understood but he's been all mopey since then (laughs) oh i this part made me giggle i want to make it clear that i'm not secretly in love with him or anything (laughs) (laughs) honestly that's a good clarification Uh, totally it's like you don't know um i think he's a great dude though the whole time i've known him he's only ever had sneaky links in situationships at best so i can't even vouch for him as a partner but I can say I have I never see him giggle like a kid about a girl before. He does seem to like her, so I do feel a bit bad. My sister's all pouty, and he's been spending all her free time in her room and has been spending all her free time in her room. My brother's calling me a dick, and my dad is choosing to stay out of it. <laughs> my dad I <laughs> just don't want him to date my sister. Of course her dad's staying out of yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. If they broke up, that could cause problems. Plus, to be real, I just don't want my sister as a tag along all the time. If this really makes me an asshole, I won't get in the way. I just won't be happy about it either. I just want some judgment. Hmm. The comment, to me, I read this and I was like, this is kind of tricky. I think it's tricky, but I also am like, it's hard for me because I don't have siblings. I don't know what that would feel like. Yeah. But I also don't think it's right to tell someone they can't date somebody that's any, I mean, anyone. Totally. I understand why he would be hesitant Mm -hmm. given that he like knows that he is kind of like a fuck boy he kind of made him out to seem and like you're protective of your sister i would assume yeah but yeah most of the replies were they were going off on him they were first of all they were like making fun of him for saying like just sibling stuff and he's like you guys are so immature you're you're in your 20s you should be behaving and i'm like they're fucking siblings like normal siblings i my parents still fight with their siblings. Like, yeah. it just is what it is. Yeah. Um, I know. I just feel like it's so tough. If like a friend, if I started dating like a friend's sibling and they were like, hey, like this makes me really uncomfortable. Yeah, I know, I'd be like. I would get that. I would too. But at the same time, I do agree. Like you can't really police who people you, are attracted you can't just to. Just turn off feelings. Yeah. It is it is hard. Cause then, then it's like, if he dates the sister and he fucks her over, yeah. then it's going to put them in like That's his friend in a really weird situation. Yeah. So I think it's kind of just one of those things where it's like, 
you gotta watch it play out yeah just like let them do what they're gonna do and watch it play out and hopefully it works out and if not hopefully it's amicable yeah i do think like this guy seems like pretty mature to me he's like if this really does make me look like an asshole like i'll let them do whatever they want to do um so i don't think that he's like firm no yeah i think i would tell my friend like Obviously you can date whoever you want, but if you do something to like fuck her over or act like a fuck boy or anything, like this will affect our friendship very negatively. I think that he should say that to both of them. Yeah. Like I think he yeah. should literally be like, I don't want to have anything to do with your relationship. If anything happens, I'm going to stay exactly where I was at the beginning. Yeah. I'm your brother and I am your friend. Yeah, that's fair. And so I, then, then they both know. I, you're like, he's like, I'm not choosing this. You guys are like, let yes. me stay on the outside. Yes. That yeah. would be so fucking awkward though. Like, like if you like cheated on her, then it's like, how are you going to be fr- How are you going to like, uh, no, a hundred percent. You know like, what I mean? Yeah. And like your if, sister's devastated. And yeah. Just, how, why are we hanging out with him? It's like, he's my friend. I don't and know. he's like, well, I told you, I told you yeah. he just is a sneaky link boy. Yeah. I think if everyone is aware, then like, yeah. whatever. Oh, but like how oh. awkward imagine if they're like, He's like, hey, like, let's go get lunch. And then he shows up and Liz's like sister's there. I know. <laughs> His don't surprise little me. sister. <laughs> oh, awkward. So awkward. Thank God we don't have like sibling siblings to like. I wish I did. I, me too. Listen, yeah. I never had to worry about my sibling dating anyone. I know. Because he was, in my mind, always married. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Yeah. Well, I, think I am starving. I just realized mm. my stomach just went. <laughs> uh thank you guys so much for listening slash slash watching if you aren't aware we have a patreon patreon.com slash only friends is a brand new episode that came out last week answering your questions comments concerns am i the assholes Mm -hmm. what may have you oh yes vanderpump finale uh reunion recap everything Mm. on bravo is ending i know and tonight tomorrow's the last valley yeah the finale sad what are we no reunion yeah, I Criminal. mean, I, I will probably always be upset that there's no reunion for this. They should at least do after shows because I feel like after shows are a little reunion-y vibes, but yeah. Or maybe he'll have like Jax and Brittany on the on Watch What Happens. <laughs> I'd be down for that. It's taking a two week break. Uh, if Jax and Brittany on Watch so What Happens fucking annoying. would be iconic. Um, I think they filmed a podcast recently together. I, I was meaning to listen to it to like get some Their tea. podcast? Yeah. Well, I listened to that one you sent me, the whole thing, because I was like online shopping and the I just Schwartz had it on the one? background. The what one? The Schwartz one? No, the one of Jackson Brittany on that like rando guys podcast. Oh. They're, they're plastic surgeon. Oh, I literally just sent it to her because I was like, there might, <laughs> like the tech, techni- the technicality of it pissed me off because their mics yeah. weren't on. It was like, it was, it'd be like if you're watching this and it's just the camera audio yeah. and we have microphones like, huh? Very weird. I don't like when people do that. Even when they upload clips, like on their yes. social media, I'm like, what? I hate it. It's so off-putting. Audio is so important. I feel Why like. Why do you do that? Yeah. Um, but Jack said they were picking up cameras, I think like 4th of July week. Oh, perfect. So. Oh, I did hear her say, I think <gasps> it was with shorts too, that they picked it up too while like they started to teach i think when she was getting her airbnb or something just keep the cameras rolling just keep them rolling 24 <laughs> 7 like below deck are you okay i don't know okay well we'll see you guys next week bye, bye.